A very cordial good morning. In a disaster, we face the danger of death or physical injury. We may lose our home, possession and near and dear ones. Such stressors place us at a risk for emotional and physical health problems. So there should be a method of awareness in the society and especially among the students. And here we are with the purpose of expounding, presenting a presentation on disaster. A disaster is a serious problem occurring over a short or a long period of time that causes widespread human, material, economic or environmental loss which exceeds the ability of the affected community or the society to cope using its own resources. Disasters can be of various types, but broadly they are classified as the natural and the man-made disasters. Now, if we talk about natural disaster, a natural disaster is a major adverse event resulting from the natural processes of the earth. It can cause a loss of life, damage to the property, damage to the economic condition of that place. But when we talk about a man-made disaster, it is not something that results from the natural processes of the earth. It is a disaster resulting from the human intent, negligence or error. It can be intentional or unintentional, but the results in huge loss of life and property. It also affects a person's mental, physical and social well-being. Some of the examples for the natural disaster include tornado, volcano, earthquake, tsunami. And some of the examples for the man-made disaster include accidents, arson, oil spilling, terrorism, war. Now, if we focus on the man-made disaster, it is an anthropogenic disaster or we can call it a man-made disaster. It is a man-made event which causes sudden or progressive damage to the society. These disasters have an element of human intent, negligence or error involving a failure of man-made system. Such man-made disasters include fire, chemical spilling, oil spilling, air pollution, water pollution, accidents, deforestation, terrorism and war. Man-made disasters like chemical spilling, oil spilling, air water pollution, etc. are the usually caused due to the lack of proper maintenance of devices and industries and safety standards not being followed in industries. Whereas, a man-made disasters like terrorism and war are the result of deliberate and carefully planned activities like spreading hatred among people or initiating people into anti-government activities. Now, if we talk about some man-made disasters, the first such disaster that comes up in the mind is the one which took place on December 2, 1984, the night when the unlucky people survived and the lucky ones died, the Bhopal gas tragedy. The disaster that happened at Union Carbide subsidiary pesticide plant in Bhopal. The plant released approximately 40 tons of toxic methyl isocyanate, which is commonly known as MIC gas, exposing more than 5 lakh people to the toxic gases. At Union Carbide Pesticide Factory, a thin plume of white gaseous vapor began streaming from a high structure caught by the wind. The gas became a haze and blew downward to mix with the smoke coming from near the ground. A dense fog was formed. This poisonous gas knew no boundaries. More than half a million of people were exposed to this gas. When dawn broke over the city, thousands of bodies lay in heaps in the streets. Families and the entire communities were wiped out, leaving no one to identify them. The army dumped hundreds of bodies in the surrounding forest and the Betwa River was choked with corpses. Two inquiries were conducted, one by the Government of India and one by the Union Carbide and Carbon Corporation. 
Both studies showed that a large volume of water had been introduced into MIC tank. It caused a chemical reaction that forced the pressure release wall to open and allowed a leak. At the end, the world concluded that this was a warning to the path of industrialization. For the developing countries in general and India in particular is a fraught with human, environmental and economic perils. Now, if we jump into another man-made disaster, the one which comes up is the Chernobyl disaster. A nuclear accident that happened on 26 April 1986 at number 4 reactor in Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine. It is considered the worst nuclear disaster in history, both in terms of cost and casualties. The number 4 RBMK reactor at the nuclear power plant went out of control during a test at low power leading to an explosion and fire that demolished the reactor building and released a large amount of radiation into the atmosphere. There were several reasons stated for the accident, like inexperienced workers who had a lack of knowledge of reactor or insufficient communication between the safety officer and operators in charge. But the effects of this disaster is such that the food and water are still contaminated. Large amount of radiation was released which caused diseases like thyroid, cancer and cataract in eye. More than 5 lakh of workers were affected by the radiation. So if we talk about how can we prevent these disasters. Unlike natural disasters, a man-made disasters are difficult to predict. However, with little vigilance, uh, the disasters can be avoided. Industries and labs should strictly follow the safety measures and be vigilant all the time. Students have an important role to play in creating awareness among the people about the hazards of the chemical spilling, oil spilling, etc. They should also make it a point to visit nearby industries and check the safety measures taken to prevent the leakage and the spillage. So here, with all said, we would like to end our presentation on a note that the entire world has faced different types of disasters, but today it still survives because of the efficient management system of the disaster management organization. Disasters can never be stopped, but the organization to manage it can be strengthened. Thank you for watching this presentation.